Yeah, yeah, what's good? It's your boy Justin Cage, Dollar Mitchell, checking in again. Hitting you with another episode of Rap Stories. Um, still looking for a name for the, for the podcast. I don't really want to run with Rap Stories, you know what I'm saying? I got one podcast out now, Hip Hop Politics and Bullshit. You can catch that on the Anchor app, on Spotify, on iTunes. Anywhere they got podcasts, just type in Dollar Mentry. Now check it out, I'm going to give you a quick story because I'm about to head back to BK. But I say, yeah, this story is short, so I can drop this with y'all real quick, you know what I'm saying, and be out. This one right here is the AZ story. AZ from Nas. It's nothing, no disrespect to AZ or nothing. This is, this is a, all my shit is positive vibes, you know what I'm saying? This is love. It's actually a funny story. It's when I was a youngin', early 90s, I mean late 90s about. This one AZ, you know what I'm saying? First of all, shout out to AZ, salute to AZ. If you're a 90s rapper, if you're a 90s hip hop head, let's say, let me put it like this. In the 80s, we had Rakim, you had Nas. I mean, Rakim, and you had um, G Rap, and you had um, Big Daddy Kane, the lyricist of the, of the 80s, at the end of the 80s. You know what I'm saying? Then in the 90s, you had Nas, you had AZ, Black Thought. I ain't gonna get into naming everybody, you know what I'm saying? But you had some dudes that was nice. But AZ definitely salute, salute the king, salute the god. BK, you know what I'm saying? Definitely was an inspiration, motivation for the kid. So here go the story. Boom. I'm in Brooklyn with the homies from my block. They could witness this. I'm with the nigga, um, I think, I know Small was there and a few other cats. I don't know anybody that was there, but my nigga Smalls was there. Shout out Smalls, you know what I'm saying? So we in Brooklyn, we going shopping for sneakers, and I guess, or boots or whatever. I know in BK, back then you had everybody go to a few stores to get their kicks, to get their boots. We go to Murray's Corner on fucking Atlantic and Ocean. You go to Ralphie's on Broadway and Halsey. You know what I'm saying? We go to Ralphie's or, or Murray's Corner in Atlantic. And Matt, and you also hit Simon's. Was it Simon's or Sims? I think it's called Simon's. I know we hit Brownsville, Pickin' Avenue over there. So I know I was, I was with my peoples and we all going to get something. And we went down to um, Pickin' Avenue, I believe. I believe it was Pickin' Avenue. We went to Simon's, you know what I'm saying? And Brownsville. So this shit mad funny. So I'm young, I'm in my prime, I'm feeling like the man. You know, I'm spitting this shit. Everybody telling me I'm nice, my head was gas. You know, back then, like today, how everybody, you got Lil Wayne on top and all this and that. Mad niggas sound like Lil Wayne, or back when it was Jules Santana on top, you had mad niggas emulating Jules Santana style and this and that. Then you had when um Drake is on top now, then you got a lot of people emulating Drake style. Well, Nas and AZ was the dudes at the time. So yeah, my style was fully Brooklyn from the AZ club for Nas, you know, the lyrical genius, intelligence, you know, dropping jewels, whatever. Long story short, we had similar styles, you know what I'm saying? But I was younger, much younger, what the woo. So I seen, um, we in the store getting some boots or whatever, getting something. We in Brownville, we getting some shit. And somebody came and told me, your son, AZ pulled, matter of fact, I think I seen him or somebody came and told me, but AZ pulled up, he had the black Lex. You know what I'm saying? Let me look in the camera. I'm in town too. I'm seeing a lot of, a lot of ass running by. This shit crazy. But anyway, AZ had the black Lex. You know what I'm saying? Pulled up in front of the spot. So everybody like, yo, stand, yo, the tray. AZ outside, yo. Oh shit, come, come holla at him, come spit for him. So me being young and high headed, I'm not in the zone of let me get on and try and get at the nigga. And like, yo, let me holla at this nigga and get on or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm young, I'm, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in beast mode, battle mode, I'm a, I'm my bars is up. I'm like, yo, yo I'm gonna AZ, yo, 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 I'm gonna battle AZ. Let, niggas gas me up, that's what happened, just keep it real, you know what I'm saying? So, yo, this shit's funny, so, I runs up on AZ, yo, oh, yo, yo, hey, what up? Oh, I'm a fan, yo, oh, he turned around, and I said, yo, AZ probably don't remember this shit, let's just be real, that's how hip hop is. How many people run up on AZ, but this is real shit, I got niggas with, you know what I'm saying, so boom. I run down on A. Damn. So I run down on this nigga, right? So I'm like, yo, let's battle, son. What up? Woo, 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 what you wanna do? That nigga like, yo, real quick, brush me off. Chill, shorty, I don't battle, I don't do that. Laugh it off. <laughs> Laugh first. Yo, y'all don't battle, me. you battle. I thought it was shot, cause I had the audacity. Let me wait for to go by. He was like, yo, laugh it off. <laughs> Chill, son. Chill, shorty. I don't rap no more. I don't battle no more, shorty. I'm getting money or whatever. Some shit like that. But he's like, yo, chill, son. Me being young and high-headed, and I'm thinking I'm the man at the time, you gonna laugh at this one. I, t- I, I was hyped. Like, and he don't want to battle me. scared. Ah, I walked off, and I felt victory. 
And my mans and them gassed me up too. They was like, yo, AJ, let me run with that one. Cause nobody really checked me for it. Nobody was like, yo, stack, this and this and that. Nah, I ran with that for a minute. As a youngin', you know, I was gassed up, but it's something that made me more nice though. That's another thing because for a minute I was gassed. I thought AZ ain't wanna battle me. <laughs> the fuck AZ look like battle me? He ain't had that that was the last thing. That nigga was getting money, pulling up on the legs, and this I'm a young nigga. He's like, shorty, scram, you bother me. Get up out of here. <laughs> but that's my AZ story, man. Shout out to the God, man. Real talk. Much respect. Hey. So it was all love and respect for him, man. But that's what happened. And that's my story with the God. You know what I'm saying? And that's history for me. But dead ass seriously, if he had to battle me, it would have been on. <laughs> Yo, so that's the story about AZ, man. Word, shout out to the God, man. But yo, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, hit the notifications if you like the story and you want more real hip hop stories from Dollar Stay tuned.